Kane. Of course I can. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. There. You see that light up there? I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, you may remember me speaking in the last episode about this mission. We are helping this native Indian chap. His name is Eagle Flies. He's the son of the chief of the native Indians in the area. And we are trying, at least, to sneak into the Cornwall oil refinery to, uh, I didn't think that was going to work, <laughs> to, um, to basically recover these plants that an oil prospector has planned to send to Cornwall um, that says Eagle Flies and his dad's land has loads of oil under it. They want to turf these Indians off to prospect it and uh, gather all of this oil. So we're going to sneak in, hopefully, and uh, find a way to get these plans before they can be sent back. And we'll make it look like the make it look like the land is trash, basically, hey, and that they don't need to go there. Hey, but I'm hoping that these guys up. don't want to search yeah, supposed to meet the, early train to Saint the back of okay. this thing because on, I literally cannot move right now and I have no options to try and climb over that's that's all the view I've got I can literally see that much those guys aren't looking back which is nice can I get out now that would have been the perfect opportunity I think just to kind of sneak out all right. I'm gonna start loading up Oh, well, this is going to be difficult. I have a feeling that this is going to cause me a lot of problems. Oh, dear God. Right, do I go up the stairs? Is there a way through there? Can I open this door? No. That ladder goes up, but I'm not sure that that is the right ladder to take. There's a lot of ladders in this game, and a lot of the time they don't actually help you out. This door offer? No. There is an entrance on the other side. I'm going to stealth take down this guy. This isn't really the way I wanted to go about doing it. He's just a guard after all. Yeah, I was going to say that's probably going to... That's probably not going to help my honour whatsoever. And there is a guard up ahead. And I'm hoping I can just sneak to my right in time to avoid him. He's just there. Oh god, there's more. Oh god. Christ, right. Now where? Uh, that's... You didn't see nothing, mate. Oh, yeah. Well, it was gonna... It was gonna happen, wasn't it? There was just literally no way. The stealth missions in this game suck. Ow. 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 Um, yeah, this isn't working very well, but I'm going to keep going. Um, Arthur's Honor is going to take a bit of a hit here, I have to say. Get in the room, Arthur. Get in the room. In the room, Arthur. Oh, God. What do you want? 
I want the plans. Give me the plans, the things that say where the, to dig. Faded my face game in and out for absolutely no reason there. Uh, threaten you. That one. Do you know that one? If you don't, I'm going to have to hurt you. Oh, wait. Damn, Barry. I think, man. Mine is a terrible thing to lose. And I'm very good at making people lose minds. Are you going to. No? Ah! And just like magic. Thank you very much. You see? A little bit of excitement is good for you. Good, it can Dan often Barry. recall Real hidden good. information in the brain when you need it most. And you really needed it. Because you are fine, yes. aren't you? All's fine. Now stay quiet. Our head office will send me back to get you. Right. Can I get... Yeah, I can get out through the window. That works for me. Whatever window we can take. Works absolutely fine. Hopefully most of the guards are... Uh, I don't think that's going to work out very well for you. Oh, blimey. It's another gunfight, not a cutscene. Ow. Nah, it's, 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 it isn't me who is in trouble, fella. It is you. Run away! As are you, sir. And I'm going to heaven anyway. Or hell. Whichever one. It'll be soon. Whichever one it is. Come on, Arthur. That's it, boy. I need this one a good shot. You're not drunk yet. Oh, Christ. That's it. Yeah, I know. You don't think I know that? I'm literally the one being shot in the arse right now. Oh, my horse. Gotcha. Let's go. That mission did not go to plan. But I didn't really see it going any other way than that, to be fair. The stealth missions in this game are a little bit unpredictable. I can deal with that. There we go. Nice and easy. Do you think it's a little bit inconspicuous, me riding away with a native Indian? And the fact that I've stolen plans that lead to native Indian land. I don't, I don't think it's too. I don't think it's, there's anything connection. You know, the, there's nothing to draw conclusions there. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliged. I hurt the man and he I gave me the plans. I thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. What a nice chap. Anyway, we got a tasty little Brucey bonus. $125. A bronze for the mission, which is pretty understandable, considering that that was a, a shit effort from me. Um, but what do you expect? And it would be too boring for me to go in there all stealth-like and, you know, get it done and, you know, get in and out without anyone seeing me. It's better if I shoot some people and be a bad author and lose a bit of karma, if that's what you want to refer to it as. Um, the other mission that we are doing in the game today is one with Dutch. We are actually going on a robbery. We are robbing the trolley station in the middle of St. Denis, which, yeah. let me tell you right now, does not go very well. 
I actually started recording that episode only for the recording to fail, and that's what I talked to you about in the previous episode. We're going to ride over there now, and you guys can see just, well, what goes wrong. Okay, guys, here we are. And the weather is about right for a mission like this one, really. Wet and horrid. And Dutch and our third man, which I believe to be Lenny, are waiting for us. So we're going to go and get this one started, see what Dutch has got in store for us. Come on, keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me. And Here we go. Will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Okay. Mr. M, leave these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. Okay. M, check that room back there. I got this one. Right, so I'm taking donations to the cause. Okay, give me everything. And I suggest that you don't put up a fight, sir. My my karma is taking a, a hit this episode. Man alive. Oh. That's that's a one minus there. You need to give me all your I mean, Dutch's orders. Now. Nothing it's I can do. I would just I'll just rob the place and leave the the uh, innocent bystands. I mean, eighty three cents. Why aren't their pockets empty yet, Mr. Eighty three cents. It's not exactly a lot, is it? I could go and sell one of my necklaces, or bracelets, one of the from one of the girls in camp for more than eighty three cents. And get ready for company. Right. You. Station clerk, no I suggest you hurry up and find the right key anytime soon would be Check nice. Sure. Right. Move yo ass. Right now. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Well, oh, it better man. be a good amount, otherwise this will be a wasted journey and I will not be happy. There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now. We got you surrounded. That's greasy son of a bitch. He set us up. You think? It seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. We're going trolley riding. It's my trolley. Look at me. Look at me. I am the trolley captain now. <laughs> right, here we go. Again, Arthur's gonna. Arthur's. Good karma is gonna take a bit of a hit shooting policemen. I'll see if I can shoot to wound rather than kill. That was my mistake. That was a bit too good. Oh, I, I didn't expect a body shot. Okay, swap sides. Change places. Hey, you. No. Oh. In the leg. Swap sides again. So Bronte set us up, eh? Set us up. He made us go into that trolley station to rob it so he could get the police, which he pays off on his side. <laughs> Runaway tram. Yo, 
That might have been the most magnificent scene in Red Dead so far. <laughs> hey, hang on a minute. My pistol's gone from being a one-shot kill to shooting through people. What's this all about? Have I got my shotgun on me? No, I don't. My Granger's revolver. Oh, this one. Oh. That's still just as bad when I miss people as well. <laughs> My aim is just... Ooh! In the shoulder. Right, Dutch, what is the plan? We can't just get pinned down it. Shake it off, mate. Oh. Oh, dear. All I have is a pistol. What am I supposed to do at this range? Are there ones behind us as well? Oh, God, there are. Douche. Oh, where are we moving to? We're following Lenny. Because Dutch is a bit shaken up. Oh, left. I could do with some call outs, Lenny. And I could do with being able to run, Arthur. It is, a, it is advisable when you're being shot at. There we go, there's my one shot again. Bit of shrapnel on his face, I do. We have to get out unseen, otherwise they're going to go right back to camp, straight away. Oh, I'm moving, I'm the one moving. I'm running. Oh god, they're right behind me. I didn't realise that. Oh! That's a nice shot right there. There's literally a guy right there, and you're just running. Oh my god, Lenny. Oh god, I don't, did not want to shoot the boss. Lenny's not going to die, is he? There we go. This is one hell of a. Okay, so we've fought our way out of Strawberry before. We've fought our way out of Valentine before. Now we're fighting our way out of a city, which is, has to be six times bigger than Valentine. What's the orders, Len? Is it shoot from up there? Come on, Arthur. Yes, there we go. No, it's not. Not till the fat lady sings, boy. And she has sung for you. I want to move to that barrel. Let's hope it's not filled with kerosene. No! I'm sorry, but you can't take us alive today. What wagon? What wagon? What wagon? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm in the wrong positioning. Don't just shoot in the middle of the road, Arthur. Lock on to a target and kill them. Well, I really don't see where this ends. Our horses are gone by now. Okay, that is the wagon we're going for. See, that's what I don't like about revolvers. They just kind of skip off a target a little bit. Right. Am I driving? No, Lenny's driving. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. We like that. Can I whip out my other revolver? Do I have my revolver on me? No, I don't. Looks like they ain't given up yet. Well, I should imagine seeing as we've killed about 50 already, that they won't give up anytime soon. I like this guy. Three bullets, and he's still going. So these are just police right now, but I can see on my map that we've actually got sheriffs coming up. Four bullets! Wow! Bye bye! Oh, that's good shooting right there. Oh, yes. There we go. Oh, sorry, by the way. I know you're just kind of doing your duty and preparing the lovely citizens of St. Denis for death. <laughs> There's just two women on their morning commute. <laughs> it's getting taken out by people shooting at each other. 
guy still going? Not anymore. You could have turned away, dude. You could have turned away. They blocked the road. Go through it. Oh, God. Throw it before we get there. What the? Oh! Did we have to kill the horse? I don't like killing the horse. Just keep going, kid. You okay back there? Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. Yeah, get us out of here, man. This is not a good place. This is. This is not good. We really messed that up. Well, I mean, it wasn't my idea, but that was bad, man. Really, really bad. Hold on now. It doesn't appear that they're following us anymore. That I was clear. bad. You know what, Dutch? Next time, it's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it, <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got $15. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all. Well, guys, that rounds out this episode. We've got a, a lack of missions on the map right now. I don't know if they're about to pop up. Yeah, we've got one with Dutch at camp by the looks of things. And I'm sure some stranger and side mission stuff will pop up on the way. And if there's anything interesting, I will throw it on camera, as always. But for now, I'm going to sign off. That mission was a terrible failure. Um, Dutch doesn't look so good, to be fair. And I do not know what happens in this story. I've separated myself completely from the storyline. I don't know how it ends. I know something pretty substantial happens to Arthur. Don't know what it is. I know something happens to Dutch, but don't know what it is. So we will uh, we will continue plodding on with the story as we always are. Just putting it on camera, uh, filming it for the first time, getting my proper reactions for you guys. So I uh, do hope you enjoyed this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2, guys. If you did, please do leave a like on the video. Subscribe to see more. There will be more videos next week, and I will see you there.